It's Chicken Day on today's Little Farm Story, and we're checking back in on the chicks and hatching new ones. Keep watching to find out what's changed and what's new. And you'll hear some chicks in the background here. They're still hanging out, keeping me company. Hello, and welcome to Little Farm Stories. Today is April 28th, and I'm Lisa Maratta at Under the Feather Farm. If you think you're going to enjoy this video, click that subscribe and like button now. If you can't see that far into the future, you can wait until the end. Chicks. The youngest chicks are now a week old. These are the smart ones that hatched in the schools. The oldest are two weeks old, and they are all thriving together in their outside space. It is a little small for the number that are in there, but they are quite happy cuddling up together. The ones in this picture all came from the same flock, where most of the hens are commercial red layers, but there are some fancy heritage roosters in there with them, so there's a glorious variety of different colors. I heard some peeping in my big cabinet incubator earlier today, so I started my tabletop hatching incubator warming up, and will move the eggs over before I go to bed. I like to hatch in a separate incubator because it keeps the big one clean, and this little one is easy to take out and wash in between hatches. These pretty brown chicks are partridge brahmas. They get very big and have very feathered legs. The eggs hatching tonight are black copper morans. These are my all-time favorite because they lay the really dark brown eggs. I wasn't going to breed them again because it's frustrating trying to find good dark laying breeding stock, but I am getting eggs back from chickens I sold, and I'm also looking for some other eggs to buy to get some new genetic stock. These pretty black and yellow chicks are mottled Orpingtons, they are in the top 10 of my favorites. They're another big breed, black with white tipped feathers when they're adults. Here they all are, cozy warm under the light. I cleaned it out today and remembered why I don't like these small spaces. They're really hard for me to get into to clean out. Another week or so and I will move these into a bigger area that is easier to clean, but I'll probably refill this one with the next hatches. It's never ending once I turn the incubator on. Thanks for watching and sharing my joy in new life and growing young life. Even after 30 years, I still find it fascinating and am still learning. Come back tomorrow. Celine has her lambs and I nearly lose one. <laughs>